He's asking you to give your honest assessment of Prime Minister Netanyahu. I know him very well. He has very strong feelings uh, and strong views uh, regarding Israel's security. Uh, I regretted uh, his statement uh, just before the election in which he uh, uh, said that there wouldn't be a Palestinian state uh, during his uh, time in office because earlier when I was there, we urged him to say he was for a two-state solution, which he said. And at that time, I'm sorry to report that almost all of the Palestinian and Arab leaders said simply, we don't believe him. We don't think he's serious. He's just saying that to placate the Americans. And now this latest back and forth has caused them to say, basically, I told you so. Uh, but he is a strong leader. He's been elected by the people of Israel. And therefore, it is our obligation to work with him. We, we don't choose the leaders of other countries. We don't choose the president of Russia, the president of China. Prime Minister of Canada or anybody else, we deal with whoever the people elect. And uh, we have to do our best to persuade him, uh, which we've been able to do so far, but we have to keep at it, that uh, th it, this is in Israel's best interest. Peace in the region. It, it doesn't make sense for Israel to be in a state of conflict with all of its neighbors in such a turbulent region at such a turbulent time with population trends moving dramatically in a manner contrary to Israel's interests. And I think the first step of a peace with the Palestinians that gave the Palestinians a state which would be, which would not have an army or a navy, would not pose a military threat to Israel, uh, is the best way to go for both sides.